Hello lovelies, this is Bonnie with Lewis House on the Prairie. This week I'm going to give you some tips to stay healthy during this cold and flu season and all year round. So let me show you what we do. Come along with me. I am not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional of any kind, so I'm just a mom who has tried just about everything and I want to tell you the most effective things that worked for us. You need to check these things over with your medical professional and double check with them that you are allowed to do these things and I'm not trying to diagnose or treat or cure any disease. So here are my top five tips. Wash your hands and don't touch your face, but you guys already know that, so let's get to the other ones. Make your own elderberry syrup. Make fresh orange juice shots with added vitamin C from whole food vitamin C, not just ascorbic acid. Make your own veggie broth and stay very hydrated, especially with lemon water. I will go into more detail now. First of all, I make my own elderberry syrup and here's how I do it. I order dried elderberries. I just get them from Amazon, um, various sellers. I look at the reviews and make sure they get good reviews. This one happens to be Frontier Co-op um, and they're fairly inexpensive, at least when I was getting them and you can make quite a few batches with even a bag this size, um, 16 ounces. This last me all winter and then some, and they're good for years because they're dried. So my recipe that I use right now is about one cup of elderberries, about five cups of filtered water, one cinnamon stick, and that's all that we like in there, but you can put other stuff in there if you like the flavor of like cloves. You simmer it on the stove for about 45 minutes and it'll reduce by about half and get a little bit thicker. You strain out the berries, and I just put them in my colander and kind of push with the back of a wooden spoon and really squish out all of the juices and all of the berries. You can use cheesecloth or a nut milk bag if you need to, but really squish out the good stuff out of those berries. And then you would wait for that to cool down. It still needs to be a little bit warm, but the key ingredient is raw honey that's local to you. That will have all of your native plants, Oh, for crying out loud, and the bird. That'll have all of your local plants and weeds and flowers and trees, all of those good things in there for you to help treat allergies and stuff like that. You are going to add one cup of raw honey, and if it's truly raw, it will probably be a solid. Honestly, people, <laughs> I'm kind of busy here. Okay, so <laughs> we, find it at our local health food store, and it's a local guy who doesn't heat his honey to get it to flow, so it is a solid when you buy it. It solidifies right away. And you add a cup of honey when it's still just a little bit warm. You don't want it to be hot because you don't want to kill those enzymes in the honey. So you add your cup and you stir it really good for several minutes before that really stirs in well, but it will melt that honey and it will stir in. And then you just keep it in a canning jar in your fridge and you have a tablespoon a day when you're feeling fine. If you're getting a scratchy throat, you're coming down with something, you're gonna wanna take more than one tablespoon and you're gonna wanna take a couple tablespoons throughout the day, but that seems to really help us stay healthy and then cut down the time that we are sick when we do catch Okay, it. tip number two that we are really loving this winter. We are making fresh orange juice and we are adding vitamin C and zinc to it. So the key is the fresh oranges. Just go buy a big bag of juicing oranges from Bird. <laughs> Go buy a big bag of juicing oranges from your local Walmart or whatever grocery store you prefer. Mine has eight pound bags of oranges and um, I wash them all. And then as they sit on my counter in my fruit bowl, they start getting really nice and soft. I always thought oranges just weren't that good and it was hard to peel. Well, they're just not ripe. Did you know that? <laughs> so as it sits, it gets really soft and easy to cut through that peel and then just juice it through your regular citrus juicer, however you like to do that. Um, I will link one down below if you want to know the one that I use. It works really well and it was very inexpensive. Um, but those, you need those fresh oranges. That is really key. 
I will show you the website. It's called Vimergy. This is where I've been getting all my supplements. They are top notch. They are the best of the best. And um, if you can possibly allocate some of your budget to getting these, you will not be sorry. This is their vitamin C that, that I use. And you just dissolve, if you're putting it in fresh orange juice, you would dissolve one or two capsules. I didn't ask your opinion one or two capsules in just a shot glass of warm water. It dissolves a lot better into warm water than I pour it into the orange juice. And then one dropper full or more if you can tolerate it. Zinc can be hard on your stomach if you're sensitive. So start small, start with half a dropper and work your way up. But this is the liquid zinc that really, really cuts down the viruses. So these are the best. For vitamin C, we used to buy whole food vitamin C, like acerola cherries powder and stuff like that. It's very important that you don't just take ascorbic acid. That is not near as good for you as whole food vitamin C. And this also has rose hips and acerola fruit extract, grape seed extract. So this has a bunch of stuff in it. Also helps you absorb the vitamin C better. So you gotta make that. Tip number three is make your own vegetable broth. This is amazing. It sounds like a lot of work, but it's really not. So I made mine and I made it into ice cubes and look at that beautiful golden color. Oh, they're so delicious. So you are going to get a bunch of vegetables and you're going to chop them up and you're going to simmer them for an hour. And all these vegetables have lots of nutrients and micronutrients and vitamins in them to help give you all the nutrients you need to fight off a bug or to keep from getting sick. So the recipe I use, and I'll link it down below, four carrots, four to five carrots, or one sweet potato, peel, chop, two to three stalks of celery, chop, two onions chopped, and you can do whatever onions you like, red onions, sweet onions, white onions, yellow onions, the sky's the limit. Pick whatever onions you like best. Pick one of each, put, chop them, put them in. One cup of parsley chopped, one cup of mushrooms, and I don't actually know how to say this, shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> anyway, I got in my grocery store, it was a little bag, um, and it was about a cup of dried mushrooms and it was all the high powered mushrooms. Um, and I just put that whole little bag, it was right there in my vegetable section, but it was down kind of low. And so I just grabbed a bag of dried mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms were some of them. Um, so I just put those in two tomatoes chopped eight cloves of garlic. And that, that sounds like a lot, but when you put it in a big soup pot, it's, it doesn't taste overly garlicky. It just gives it really good flavor. Oh, one inch of ginger root. If you can't find ginger root in your grocery store, you can use dried powdered ginger up to a teaspoon. One inch of turmeric root. I did find turmeric root in my grocery store, so I did use real turmeric root this time, and it was delicious. The time before, I used turmeric powder and I didn't like it as well. I really think the full root has juices and stuff in there that really makes it taste better than just the powdered versions. So try to find the turmeric root. I found it at Albertsons. And about 12 cups of water, just in your big, your big soup pot, and simmer that for an hour. And if all the vegetables are really nice and soft, then you've pulled out all those nutrients out of there. And you're just gonna strain out the veggies and voila, that's it. And the broth is super good by itself. I don't need to add salt, but you might need to add some salt and stir and just sip it out of a coffee mug and really get those nutrients into you. And if you make it into ice cubes, you can use it in recipes throughout the week when you just need one cup of broth or, you know, for your recipes. So make some broth, super good. And now tip number four that you've probably heard before, but you really need to stay hydrated. You need to force yourself to drink water. I don't know how you do that. If you need to set a timer on your phone that once an hour, drink a glass of water, <laughs> but you need to stay really hydrated because how else is your body going to fight these off and get these bugs out of us unless you're really flushing them through you. So if you add lemon to your water, that would be even better to get yourself some good um, 
some extra nutrients into your water and make it more absorbable to your body. So add some lemon. If you don't like it, just lemon in water. You can add some of that honey and stir that in or shake that in. I add honey to mine and it tastes like lemonade and it's delicious. So that's how I drink more water. So I hope you enjoyed these tips and I hope you come along with me on the journey of becoming healthier in today's world. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Love you guys, bye. Okay, tip number three is, <laughs> this is never gonna work if you're talking over me, bird. <laughs> What do you plan to do about your cheddar box? I don't know. Let her talk. I don't like that plan. Okay, keep going. Tip number three. Okay, it's not going to work. We can't both talk, okay? Savvy, you're going to have to go to another room. Bye bye then. No, seriously, cut. <laughs> cut.